supercharged 51 over here. I hope you're having a splendid day wherever you are in the world. Guys, it is time for the finale here in Norway at the Hell Circuit for our third season of Dirt of the Dirt Playground series. It is cr crunch time. It is myself, V Carter, for the championship. And guys, will we be a triple champion come the end of this episode? Because you guys know we won season one rally cross. We won our rally season, and now we are looking at our third championship title. Can we clutch it up, you guys? So this entire season, I've I've been and I don't know what, but I've bottled stuff at the most important stages of the weekend, especially in the rally cross. I, actually, just in the rally cross, not with F1 or anything, but. I've bottled it so many times, this weekend has to go perfectly, or the championship is over. And guys, I have to make the final. If Carter makes the final and I don't, he is champion. Ready to race. Guys, I'm back for you. Guys, like I said, if I miss out... All right, good luck today. Give it your best. Thank you. On the final, and Carter goes into the final, what I couldn't finish saying before the practice started, and he wins. He, by all means, Carter to has to win this weekend. And if I don't make the final, he will be crowned go, 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 champion. Go. So I am at a very critical point and I know the AI are good here around around the health circuit and guys look already Carter's teammate Lima is in Q1 guys this weekend now I'm dead honest with you I was gonna go max attack all the time max attack 24 7 I was not going to let up for one measly second and I was on a mission not to make stupid mistakes this weekend this entire season, I've made stupid mistakes and I've given away wins. And, well, not wins. Okay, yeah, the previous round I've given away a win. I've given away very good qualifying times. I've, given, I've made it for myself hard to do good in this season. So I have to be consistent this weekend. 
and this MG Metro, I'm sure it's going to make it hard for me to do that because still it's a groupie rally car, but I was going to be the boss this weekend, not the car, and I was going to make sure that every single thing that I did was going to be perfect. And as you guys see, come the end of Q1, I'm ahead by miles and miles, and this was just a taster of what I had planned for the rest of the weekend. I, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I was panicked, I was stressed, but I haven't been stressed like this in quite a while. The last time I was stressed like this was... Yes, nice one, that is a win. Thank you. The last time I was stressed like this was my Brazilian Grand Prix at the end of my second season of F1 2018 where I could have taken the championship, and I did, but I had an uphill battle that entire bloody Grand Prix. Guys, the, that's the last time I stressed that much. Now, I want to be a triple champion. I'm not going to lie, and I know what you guys are going to say. The first two seasons, the game was not on max difficulty. I don't care. <laughs> this is not the type of racing game that I am good at. I am a very average player when it comes to dirt. F1 and definitely Gran Turismo Sport is the game that I would put myself at as, I would say, semi-good. <laughs> I'm better than average, but I'm not phenomenal. But you guys, you guys get my point. So... There's still a lot of fight that has to be done this weekend. And um, after Hollius, I have to say, um, Hell is, by, is definitely my second favorite circuit of the Rallycross circuits that you have on Dirt 4. I know on the no, new Dirt Rally 2.0, all the Rallycross tracks are there. That is just absolutely epic. Um, so that's, that, that's basically the main reason I want to get my hands on that game, is I want to drive on the new Rallycross cars and on all the, on all the Rallycross tracks. But at that stage, we don't have that, the, the, that luxury so we just have to, to, to deal with what we have now. Hey guys, there's a familiar name, Alvarez, hashtag season two rally. My biggest rival in the rally, Alvarez, who gave me a freaking run for my money in the final two rallies. Where was the final two? I think it was in Michigan and in, Aus in Australia, the final two rallies. And he gave me a go. I, I can even remember in Wales, until he retired, he really gave me a big go in Wales. So yeah, oh, that's very awkward over that final ramp nice coming over the finish line. Event. Yeah, 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 yeah. This engineer is so repetitive. I'm just, I'm just going to talk over him from now on, guys. Except when we actually get where we want to, hopefully get where we want to, when it comes to the semis and the final. Guys, the semi-final that I'm going to race this weekend is going to be the most important semi-final of my life. And guys, at this stage, Carter is not even in the semis. Only the top 12 go through to the semis. And at this stage, Carter is uh, playing a little bit too soft, in my opinion. Um... We st but, guys, I really have to pull something out of the hat because <laughs> this is not going to be an easy one to win. And um, we enter Q3, qualifying is halfway done. We've still got half qualifying to go. It's Leitner, myself, Schmidt, and LaRue. And it's now time to get the car going. Guys, actually, just quickly really talking about my tune setup. I tuned this car at an extremely unorthodox well, I gave the car an orthodox to tune. Meaning, guys, my gear ratios were immensely short. And I went for a lot of camber on my wheels. Usually that gives you more grip, I get that. But my rear wheels had more camber than my front wheels do. That's why I wanted the car to be um, loose around the rear end. Because this track is a track that it, it, it rewards, I would say, drifting. It rewards drifting and keeping momentum through corners. So... I know that and that's why I went really really aggressive here and as you guys see I'm literally the game is still on brutal difficulty and I'm completely shoving this car into the top parts of, of, the, of the leaderboard I don't care who is ahead of me I don't care who's behind me I'm just going guns blazing grenades flying I am not going to take any any prisoners and you guys you guys can hear I'm very serious I want this championship and come lap four we are ahead by miles once again just a quick second I'm gonna take a sip of my of my of my cool aid my, my drink yeah. Ugh, that's done but like I said guys just nothing was going well there was going to be a, a very good attempt to stop me from getting this championship but nothing at this stage was going to stop me. I was adamant. You should be very happy with that. Job well done. 
I can't believe myself. I literally said two minutes ago I was going to talk over this dude, and once again I did not talk over him. I waited for him to say something. <laughs> Guys, we take Q3 with with just over two seconds from the nearest guy. You guys can see Carter actually got P6, so he's back into contingent for the semi-finals. But at this stage, Carter is going to have to work his rear end off come the final semi-finals because um he is really far behind, and I am still top of the quality sheets. So there's a lot of work for Carter to do. He is in P12, so he is just in, guys. He is just, he's skimming in, so he has to have a good Q4 race. Otherwise, it's over for Carter. He is in the, he is in uh, quality group B. So um, you, you guys are not going to see him on track with me, but let's see if Carter can pull a rabbit out of the hat and get himself booked into the final because the, the 13 to 16, they are going to push even harder to get themselves into the final. So I hope Carter's got a good um, Q4, otherwise this is going to be a very dull way to win the championship. So guys, this Q4, a like down below will, will actually show that you actually want Carter to fight me in the semi-finals. Let's see what happens, guys. Going for the Joker left, the car is very twitchy around the rear, a little too twitchy for for my idea going into the, the Joker lap. But guys, doing the Joker lap here is actually very good when you do it on the first lap. I see the AI here have got a little bit of the same problem as they do at Vidden Hill in England. They are a little bit, they, they're not as weak as they are in England when they don't joker lap, when they don't joker. But when they do joker here, they get a little bit OP. I'm not going to lie, they get extremely, extremely strong. And um, it's just, I don't know what the balance is there if like the joker lap gives them like a, <laughs> a, a boost that is, the, that is not given to the AI player. But um, yeah, it's, 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 sometimes it's irritating, other times it's rewarding. If it's like this, I want a challenge, it's quite irritating. But other times when you just want to have fun, it's rewarding. Because then you can just play with the AI. <laughs> you just play around with them. Guys, we top off this qualifying session with another win. And we have won three out of the four quali sessions. And it has been a while since I've been this aggressive and this adamant on dirt. I mean, you guys know I, I tend to struggle here. We win with 195 points to 158 over Schmidt. And guys, Carter, I saw there, was in P11. Carter's in the semis, but is he in the same semi final as I am? I am P1. Yes, he is, guys. He is starting from the back row, not the place where you want to be. But guys, le once again, let's see if Carter can pull a rabbit out of the hat and if he is actually going to mount a fight for this championship if he wants it bad enough. Guys, this is the most important semi-final of my life. We're gonna have to focus so hard. This is the semi-final of all semi-finals. Let's build the revs second gear. Oh, whoa, what happened there? Okay, oh, oh guys, that's one free position for Carter. So your opponent just did a jump start, so they will have to take two jokers. If that was Carter, I know that the championship was ours. But it's not Carter, it's Oberg. So uh, we've still got a fight on our hand, guys. And I've got a feeling Carter is not going to stop until he sees... Well, until I see him in my rearview mirror. And then eventually I see the rear end of his car. Let's see what happens in the semi-final. Four Peugeots, only two MG Metros. It seems like this is a Peugeot, Peugeot strong track. Heading through T1, I decide not to go for the Joker. and have to actually try and stay ahead of these guys. I was going to go for the joke a little bit later on in the race, but at this stage, it is no time is involved. It is just pure racing. As you can see, heading into basically the second sector of the track, I am already quite far ahead. So I think to get that joker lab out of the way as early as possible is going to be the best bet for to get ourselves into the final. And we need to hope that Carter actually gets into the final. Guys, remember, if I go through to the final, the championship is mine no matter what happens. But I still want a little bit of a of a, a shoving between myself and Carter, even though I know the championship is mine. Because then the final, I'm I'm just gonna race for for the fun of it. I'm gonna see how much action I can get going in the final. Guys, at this stage, Carter is in P3. I saw his MG Metro in the background there quickly. And yes, I am correct. Carter has gotten himself all the way up into P3. And nobody has jokered. Guys, the same like the previous round on Little Hill. In the first semi-final, well, the first semi-final that I was in, nobody joked, no, it was actually Hollius. Nobody joked on the first lap in the semi-final. Why is that? I do not know why.
But guys, I'm far ahead now. Let's head for this Joker lap and get this Joker lap out of the way. I think I did go for the Joker lap at this stage. And okay, no, I did not. I actually did not go for the Joker lap. I can't remember when I went for the Joker lap and if I waited till the final lap to go for the Joker lap. Oh, I don't know, guys. We'll see how the race unfolds. Guys, I did record this quite a while ago. So um, please bear with me. I can't remember everything perfectly. Um, I'm just a, like a legit commentator of a race. I'm watching what happens and I'm commentating on it. Um, oh, Berg, I think I, if I was there, I would have joked at the first two laps and just chased to see if I can still get something going for myself heading into the final. But still, we've got to go. We've got to end lap three, go on to lap four. And now it is. It, guys, it's, I think it's a done deal. Nobody is challenging us. It, and we've got a five second gap to Carter, who is actually in P2. Okay, Carter has finally come to the party. Okay, guys, Carter has arrived. Yeah. Okay, guys, it is crunch time. I want to, uh, guys, I, look, I think the championship's in the bag. I know I sound a little bit undramatic, but this semi-final has probably been the easiest semi-final of the season thus far. And I think it's just because my head was in the game. I think the reason I made so many other, so many mistakes in the other events is just because I, uh, I, whoa, that's a massive throw into the Joker lap. Oh my soul! I completely threw the guy there. That's flippin' epic. But I think the reason I did so bad in the previous events, why I bottled so many things and why I wasn't as consistent as I would be on GT Sport F1, is I was really playing for fun. And I just made stupid mistakes because I tried my luck just too many times. And I think that's just why I did so bad. But guys, get your hands together. Drop a like down below to celebrate with me. We are a triple champion. And we take the semi-final win here at Hell in Norway. That is P1. Nice drive. You did great. But guys, the action is not over. It would have been it would have been easy for me to stop the video and tell you guys that the final was boring. I won. But now that we are world champions again for season three, we can have fun in the final. We the stress is gone. The weight has been lifted off of our shoulders. It is now time to just see how much fun we can have. You guys saw Carter actually did ca come in second place. So let's see if he can actually mount one final fight even though he knows the championship is over. I want to see if he can mount a fight. Let's quickly repair the vehicle. I don't know what is, needs to be repaired. Dampers and springs. Okay, there is dirt jumps and the engine. Okay, no bodywork because I was like, huh? What? What? Guys, for the final race of the season, let's clean the car. Let's make the car look fantastic. And let's see what we can do for this final race of season three of the dirt playground series let's go baby we are a triple champion let's go have some fun Guys, it is time. Carter v Turbo. Let's see who can take the final win of the season. We are in the driver's seat, but let's see if we can end it off on the highest possible point of the season. Guys, Joker lap on the first lap is the only way I'm going. Oh, there's a little bit of contact between me and one of the Lanciers. I push him a little bit wide and I go up the inside. We are into P5. Guys, look at the two MG Metro teammates, Lima and Carter. They are in the lead of this race, but I think it's Lima actually leading the way from Carter. So we have got a little bit of a job on our hands. Oh, I run into the back of the second Lancia. These guys actually a little break a little bit early for my in, in my opinion. Oh, the two MG Metros are side by side, heading into the second to last corner. They are side by side. Who's going to get the run for the final corner? They are there. I'm right behind them. Oh, I have a bit of a bad run through the final hairpin. And we get the power down. Third gear, fourth gear as we go over the jump. There's one of the MG Metros. And ooh, it's a little bit. Oh, it's slidey, slidey, slidey. No! Oh, guys, I lose control. That was all my. That was all me. No other driver made contact with me. So now we have to chase these guys down. Did somebody go Joker? No, nobody did. So I am P6. Ah! Guys, and at this stage, Carter has gone for the Joker. So he has just made the best decision of his race thus far to go and Joker. 
Oh boy, okay guys, let's try and chase down. It's Lima leading the way from Alvarez. Le well, Carter is now officially P3, LaRue 4, Olsen 5 and myself. We find ourselves in the dead last position, but obviously you guys know we're not going to settle for P6. We want to end off the season on a high note. Across the line, we just take Team P5 away from Olsen. Now it's LaRue. I think he's going to go for the Joker lap. In any case, we drift the car through the first quarter. It is Lima who parted it at the first quarter, and Carter takes the lead of the final year in Norway. Oh, we go a little bit right through the corner. Carter's back out to P2. Lima and Carter are fighting away, and I'm sure these two guys are seeing me in the mirrors. Oh, I give a little bit of a bump. Uh, to Lima and now we are going to head up the hill and see who's going to get the win here for the final race of the season here in ha in Norway at the Hell Circuit guys to the final hip and let's yank the handbrake a bit let's get the car to drift it's a beautiful shot there as I as I stare into the windows of Lima's car guys Carter has lost his front bumper and it's it's now all to play for Ooh, that's a little bit harder to the brakes I just give Carter a little bit of a, of a smooch on the rear end of his car we have got three laps to go guys alongside Carter but I just can't get the move done I am braking just with I'm basically using the handbrake for everything Lima has gone for the Joker so it's MG Metro versus MG Metro Razer Gaming sponsor versus I don't know what sponsors on Carter's car but it's actually quite pretty with the yellow and the red so guys heading down, up the heel down this little descent from to the out of the second to last corner blah, 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 blah. my tongue is twisting again through the final hairpin we've got two laps to go and it's still Carter leading the way from myself we are late onto the brakes heading into the first corner we tap the handbrake get the car sideways because the car straightens up as you hear it on midway through the corner heading back onto the gravel section oh we go for a major dive up the inside live with the joker lap in the semi but it's a little bit just too much and Carter is back into the lead oh it is very close for the semi-final guys we dummy cards a bit go from the outside to the inside to the, halfway through the corner we are going to be side by side heading up the hill maybe not he, we are side by side heading into the second to last corner we have to give him the space we run a little bit wide into the final hip and it's a little bit too much on the handbrake and i run wide no Guys, this is an epic battle for the lead. It's the final lap. Carter or Turbo, who's going to be handbrake into the first corner. Once again, he well, that was actually, he tapped us, sending us wide. As we get, we made a little bit of contact, he just tapped me on my left rear wheel with his right front, and it just sent me wide. So we are still in P2. Are we going to go for another dive up the inside? Yes, we do. We take the lead. We only have the heel and the final two corners to go. Come on, let's do this, let's do this. Let's not give this win to Carter. Will we end the season with the win guys getting into the second to last corner and into the final corner oh i put a little bit of a tie onto the gravel it's a very bad final corner for myself carter gives me a shove and shoves me into the wall carter takes the final win of the championship but to no avail guys we are still we are still world champions but damn that race with carter was so much fun Oh, guys, as I went right now, I came back onto the racing line. Carter just hit me from the side. It sent me straight into the wall. I think Carter was just desperate to show me next championship. It is on. But, guys, what a season. I know I dominated most of it, guys. But you guys can't deny when you say there was a lot of action during the season. Especially with me bottling it so, so many times. We take the championship by 14 points. It is, uh, it is done and dusted, guys. We take the win for an MG Metro 6R4 and for Razer Gaming as a sponsor. Guys, this was just an epic season. But guys, before we say goodbye, I've got some big news, guys. The next season of, of Dirt 4, of the Dirt Playground series, is not going to happen. I'm going to give you guys a hint. Here's the hint. New Era. We are still going to be doing Dirt Gaming, but the Dirt Playground series has run its course and it is done. I want you guys to climb onto the hype train. I am doing something that you will not expect for the new era of Dirt. And I am very excited. Don't worry, we're still going to be, it's still going to be Dirt 4 gameplay. Don't think I've got Dirt Rally 2.0 lined up for you guys. Unfortunately not, even though that would have been absolutely epic. But... Keep an eye on the channel. Keep an eye on my social media, guys. Follow me on all my social medias, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram to stay up to date. And let's see what happens this, the next season when Dirt comes back to the channel. But guys, for now, we are done and we're jumping back on F1 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe and share this video. See you all next time. Cheers!